Hey everybody, it's Vegan Chris here, and um, I had um, quite an experience today. Uh, so last night I was on YouTube, and I came across something that I never even heard of. I didn't even know about it. It's called Vegan Sunday School. Uh, this episode was only a few days ago. It was on February 11th, 2023. So it has somebody named Sky, and he has something called Vegan Of Course, Sky has something called Vegan Of Course, and uh, that is a uh, website uh, where you can buy some t-shirts and, and things. Uh, Lauren, who I already follow on Instagram, she goes by Vegan Yoga Mama, M-O-M-M-A. Uh, so I was watching the uh, episode, um, I guess they're live, but I caught it afterwards. So uh, I wasn't actually watching it live, but one thing they were, they were talking about multiple things, but one thing that they were talking about was uh, they brought up this map on the screen and it's from counterglow.org. So on counterglow.org, it shows a map of all of the places that are slaughterhouses any any, you know, factory farms, anywhere that they're uh, exploiting animals and on the map, it was quite disturbing to see how many, I was like, it blew my mind how many there are in the United States. So anyway, I zoomed into where I live in New Hampshire, and there was a slaughterhouse about 12 minutes away from my home, and I did not know that. So I thought, let me get my car today. I got to go out today anyway. And I'll just scout out the place. I'm not good. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna go over there and just check it out. And when I got there, it was like very disturbing. It was like a pit in my stomach and a lump in my throat, and like my head was just like I can't believe that we live in this world. And um, this is the first time I've ever gone to where there's a slaughterhouse. So um, I, I I didn't. I just stayed in my car. I pulled in there, and there's a place called The Steak Out. It's a place to eat steak, as in S-T-E-A-K. And the building is pretty much not attached, but almost attached to the slaughterhouse. The other building, right next to it, uh, there's a sign on one end that says slaughterhouse. And while I was in my car, I saw a guy go into the door that's right behind the sign that says Slaughterhouse. And on the other end, that's closer to that place called the Steakhouse, there was another sign that said Office. So I saw a woman get out of her car and go into that door on the other end of the building. So one end has Slaughterhouse, one end has Office, and on that end, there's that place to eat called the Steakhouse. The sign that said Slaughterhouse, I wanted to take a picture of it, but I didn't. But just the sight of that sign just was, like, really bothering me a lot. And um, so I didn't stick around or anything. I, I, You know, it's the first time I was ever there. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of stake out, uh, you know, scout out the place. And um, uh, just the fact that there was a restaurant right there, but up against the Slaughterhouse... Uh, and diagonally across the street is a religious place called, you know, it's the Jehovah's Witness Hall. You know, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they have a hall right across the street diagonally. And so on one side of the street, you got the slaughterhouse. Across the street, you got the uh, this religious place. It's kind of, it's very, very weird to me. Now, I have driven on the main road that's right there. Um hundreds, maybe thousands of times back and forth. I've lived in this area for so many years, decades, and um, I didn't even know this place was there, this slaughterhouse. And I've actually driven on, I've driven on that main road, like I said, thousands of times back and forth, but the road that the slaughterhouse is on runs parallel to the main road. And I've been on that road several times, but I never noticed that there was a slaughterhouse. And just minutes down the road, I'm back into where I, I'm very familiar, where everything is, you know. Um, you know, all the stores and shops and everything and, and businesses and whatnot. And uh, 
you know, police station, firehouse, uh, you know, Whole Foods, Target, all those kind of places. And I'm, I'm familiar with driving past all those places that have, you know, animal products. And But just the fact that I pulled into that place where there's the slaughterhouse it was very disturbing to me because just behind, just on the other side of that wall is where, you know, the terrible, horrific things are happening. I didn't, uh, I don't think anything was happening while I was there. I, I rolled down my window to try to listen. I didn't hear any screams or anything like that so that maybe they cut maybe the trucks come in earlier in the day i don't know maybe it just wasn't on this day i have no idea but um yeah so it's lemay and son's beef packaging house right next to the steak out the steak out and um i just wanted to uh talk about this because i was very disturbed for one thing and secondly, I wanted to let everybody know about this place called, I mean, this website called counterglow.org, C-O-U-N-T-E-R-G-L-O-W.org, counterglow.org. Um, I think that would be very good for activists and stuff like that to um, find out where places are near them and maybe try to, try to um, uh, you know, plan a, a, a protest or something. Or, or, you know, I wouldn't go by myself, that's for sure. Just, I want to see, I want to try to get, like, people to maybe go with me and maybe just do, like, a vigil. Maybe, maybe, maybe a truck will be coming or find out from somebody. There might be uh, other people that are already doing this, um, and I don't know about it yet. But, uh, anyway, I hope all is well with all of you, and thank you for watching, and, um, I just wanted to give out that information it was something that i just learned today counterglow.org uh some of you already already may already know about it but uh anyway have a good one take care and um i will be talking to you again soon all right bye for now